In a previous video, I talked about why it's so important for each of us to be creating content consistently. Now, the question is, what is content? How do you choose what type of content to create? And so that's what this video is about. Let me share with you a, a variety of types of content, and then I want you to look at each of these and ask yourself, well, which one are you most interested and energized to create? Okay, so the first type of content is like this, videos, right? Uh, and if you're interested on my website, I actually have more than 100 videos that I've created uh, that you can watch on all kinds of topics like you know, business related topics, how to create content, how to create good, good content, how to do honest selling uh, and enrolling clients, uh, how to be more productive and organized, authentic success, improving your own services, healthy money, etc. So you can check that out on my website, georgecow.com. Uh, another type of content is audios. And I have a link, and I'll, I'll give the link to this mind map uh, in the notes of this video as well, so you can have access to all these links. Um, audio content is podcasts are very popular and uh, I've given you a link to my favorite podcast episodes so that you can actually check it out and see what what a podcast uh, is like so you can decide whether you want to uh, get into that um, game of, of, of recording podcasts basically audio content okay um, the third type is images now images can be photographs that you take uh, yourself or you can create quote uh, images um, such as the ones that are using buffer.com slash Pablo. Pablo is a free tool by, um, let's see here, let me get this down here. Buff, yeah, Pablo is a free tool that is created by a company called Buffer and it's very easy to create quote images by using Pablo. So you can you know, um, some kind of inspirational quote here. And then you can search here uh, for all kinds of, you know, if you want to, if you want a flower, flower, put flowers there. And there's lots of flower images you can use. If you want, you know, inspiration, creativity, maybe um, children, okay, you can just type that. And uh, okay, there's fewer, fewer ones of them there. But uh, beach, let's say beach and there's lots of beach photos that you can you can use so um, Pablo uh, is a great great um, great tool it's uh, buffer.com slash Pablo um, okay and uh, the next oh the other the other type of images are infographics so I'm gonna give you a link here and uh, this link will show you what is an infographic so for example this is an infographic it's basically um, a very uh, complex graphic with images that communicate a lot of information in a single image. Um, it could be about on all kinds of topics and it could look all kinds of different ways, right? Um, but it's basically communicating, it's almost like an article, it's like a little article, but using graphics to communicate, communicate what that is. Um, many, many different types, right, of infographics. Okay, um, and in terms of creating infographics, you can go to the website Fiverr, F-I-V-E-R-R dot com, F-I-V-E-R dot com. And uh, if you go there and search um, infographics, okay, infographic, uh, there are many people who can create infographics for you. Uh, usually a single infographic will cost you maybe about $25 or a really, really quick and simple one might even be $5. So go and check that out. Um, okay, let's see, what else? Webinars and teleclasses. Okay, and I have a training on how to do webinars. If you go to that link, uh, it'll be, it'll be my, my, my training on that for free. Um, webinars are basically live video, usually with some kind of visual element like a slideshow or some images or a mind map to walk people through a particular training. On, it's an online uh, seminar. Therefore, a webinar, right? A teleclass is basically a an audio live audio class that usually doesn't have any visuals on the screen, so people can attend via the phone. Um, and I will talk more about webinars and teleclasses in future videos if there's interest. Slideshows are another type of content that you might want to create, and um, uh, an example is I have a slideshow here called Niching One Hundred One. 
it kind of uh, gives just to kind of give you an example of of what a slideshow is. This website, SlideShare, has all kinds of slideshows that you might want to check out. Um, okay, yeah, all kinds of all kinds of slideshows. There's a way to communicate information. Okay, and uh, let's see here, mind maps like this one. Okay, and I have a link here that'll bring you to my other mind maps. Uh, articles, we've all read articles. They're basically text-based way of communicating information. Uh, here's an example of one of my one of my articles. Um, usually, an article has a cover image. This is what that's called—a cover image. It might have the title of the article, or it might just have some kind of idea from the article with a with an image there. And then uh, the heading of an article, and then the article itself. With with uh, sometimes it has there's like callouts, you know, callouts that have uh, sometimes it's called a block quote, so that it's more um, sort of pe people scanning through the article can see the big ideas like that. Um, articles often also include images like this. Okay, images, right? Images. Okay. To and then sometimes the article might even have a video embedded to it. Okay. So those are, um, that's what an article is. And then courses, so I will be basically, I basically put uh, a couple dozen of my videos into a single course and you can use udemy.com to upload your videos and create courses yourself. You can even sell them and earn a living from, from, uh, from creating Udemy courses and selling them, okay? There are courses on all kinds of topics, even you know meditation or creativity or self-esteem and uh, you know photography, health and fitness. You know there are lots and lots of different types of classes, so you might want to check check out Udemy, u d e m y dot com. Okay, for for courses. Um, okay, what else? There is also social media postings. That's content as well, and I've given links to my business. And social media postings can be anything from uh, from a video is a social media posting, or something as simple uh, or uh, or a note or a text article can be a social media posting, or it can simply be an, an image quote, you know, with some writings, or sometimes social media postings can be links to other things or even just your own musings. Uh, you can even just write out write out a couple of paragraphs, you know, your own musings or a couple of sentences, and that that's a social media posting as well. Uh, books. Books are still the most credible way to build. Uh, well, it's it's still the way to build credibility. Uh, the easiest. Well, not, it's not easy to create a book, but it's certainly uh, people find you know authority and trust when someone has says, "Oh, I've written a book on that topic." So definitely consider that. Ebooks are basically books that are just electronic format. If you're going to write, if you're going to write enough to have a book, you might as well put it on Amazon in the Kindle format, as well as uh, using a service called CreateSpace, which is owned by Amazon.com, that you can just upload your content there, and then they will, uh, as you upload it in the correct format, you can use Fiverr to find someone to help you format format a CreateSpace book. Okay, and there are plenty of people who can help you format. Uh, your content into a Create Space and and Kindle, um, Create Space and Kindle, right? And uh, basically, um, you can have you can sell published books by just having someone format it for you into that format, and you don't have to. It doesn't cost you. Uh, it costs relatively little. You put it on Create Space, and when people want to buy a book, they just go on Amazon. They search on your topic. They can buy it, and Amazon will print on demand for. Um, Print on demand and sh and ship it to them. So Amazon does all the fulfillment for you. Speaking in person is also another type of format uh, of creating content. And I found that speaking in person is generally the easiest way or the best the the way that is for sure can get you clients. But speaking in person is relatively difficult in terms of getting enough people you know to attend. So you may want to consider the other types of formats at, on a more regular basis. And when you can, of course, you speak in person as well. And really, content formats are only limited by your creativity. So I've given a link here for many different types of content that you might want to check out, other types of content formats to check out. So in my next video on content, I will talk about how do you choose what type of format to, to, uh, to create for yourself. So I hope that this is helpful for an overview survey of types of content and, uh, 
any questions and comments, I look forward to it. Just put it uh, underneath the video.